Today we are going to be talking about Pixel, a Blender add-on that allows you to easily make pixel art in Blender. So without further ado, let's get started. This video is brought to you by Learn to Make Looping Animations, a Blender course that teaches you to create 4 high quality looping animations step by step. Check it up in the link below. Alt Tabs Pixel is an add-on that allows you to turn any object into pixel art with ease. You can also use it to create animated game sprites as well as do things like creating GIFs, stickers and entire environments. The add-on comes with 4 categories. The first one is Setup, which sets up your Blender file to automatically render pixel art. It also creates a collection called No Outline, which you can add the objects that you don't want to have an outline for. The second category is Pixel Cameras, which gives you the ability to add your own camera or use the built-in isometric cameras. These isometric cameras tend to keep that aesthetic of pixel art get across to the viewer much better. You can also use the camera control parameters to shift the camera up and down or left and right. You can also use the orthographic scale to control the zoom level to your object. The third category is where you can add the pixel material. But before you do that, there are two things that you need to know. The first thing is that you can change the name of your objects after you add the pixel materials to them. So it's better to adjust your names before you add the material. The second thing is that it's recommended to join all the objects that have the same material on them. After you've done this, you can press the start using the pixel material button and you will have the material for your selected objects. Also this pixel material react to your lighting setup in real time. Now if you take a look at the material control panel, you can shade smooth or shade flat your objects based on your needs. You can use the lighting threshold parameters to control how much shadow or how much highlight you want for your objects. Under these parameters, you have three color parameters. These parameters are light, shadow and outline. They are used to define the color of the objects and you also have the ability to add an image texture for your objects by pressing the use image texture button and you can import your texture and then you can use the UV editor to adjust and control that texture. If the texture is not showing, make sure to play with the lighting threshold parameters until it shows up. If you want to stop using the texture, you can press stop using texture material button. Also if you want to have different materials for one object, you can assign a material for a selected face or multiple faces in the edit mode, in condition that the object already have a pixel material assigned to it. Also make sure to use EV render engine to get the best result. Now that's all you need to know about this add-on, after this you can render your scene and you will have an amazing pixel art render made with Blender. Now tell me in the comments below what do you think about this add-on, make sure to subscribe for more videos like this one, thank you for watching and goodbye.